shipwreck hoarder. He fucking stole that from my deck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he surrendered because of Nautilus is fearsome. <laughs> Definitely. What is this, dude? This card's fucking trolley. Is it trolley? Maybe it's not trolley. The other person was running it too. I like that, dude. I'm gonna get that in a quote. He surrendered because of Nautilus is fearsome. I like it. Ah, oh, yeah, we should play this. What's that noise? Ah, I obviously not gonna swing. Like on paper, this card should get super punished by so many cards, but every now and then it gets value. Every now and then. I feel like he's not running Ruination. Toss. Okay. How about I just play Broad Awakening? Yeah. Buddy. Where's he withering whales in your deck? I actually am not running Withering Whale either. To be fair, all I'm seeing is a lot of mid-rangey decks. I must get out of here. We'll see if the uh, aggressive decks come back. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I didn't think people would actually still run that card. It's good against spiders. Uh, I want to draw cards here, I think. I'll just let that go through. That was really trolley. I was like so sure he wasn't going to have a withering whale there. A bar feast. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Getting rid of salvages off a toss is fine. I'm actually only running two copies of salvage because I personally find it to be kind of... If you, you don't want to draw too many of them, especially in the late game, you can't play them. They're unplayable. So two is an okay balance for now. Uh oh. I think I lost a vile feast too, which kind of stinks. Okay. Frenzied skitter. I mean, this is like a high tempo, low value card though. Pass. Oh, good. Oh, dude, I forgot. It. Oh, shit. Shit, I forgot about plunder. Did he steal that from my. Yeah, I think he did. I can't actually let him take attacks into my face. Plunder. Why the fuck are you running plunder? Like, why would you be running Plunder in Maokai? I don't understand. This guy's fucking trolling, dude. Yes, where's your withering whale now, you dog? Guys, literally running my deck. Maybe I should run Plunder with my Undying. It punishes people for not blocking. It's a weird way of looking at it because I've never thought about that scenario too often where I'm like, oh, I'm just going to be greedy and take the damage. Well, it's not that simple now, is it? I mean, not every class has plunder, I don't think, though. So if you know which classes have plunder, then you can play around it. But in on dying, you would need to probably be going, like... Like, into Blagewater and on dying, which is probably okay. I'm just going to play my sea monster, because he's a big boy. And I don't get, care about his board. I don't care about this doing damage to me. 
You need to keep track of what cards we're losing here. A right, glimpse beyond. That's okay. It essentially does what I want it to do. Um, this card's kind of cool. Where another ally dies, drain one from the enemy nexus. I don't think it's greedy enough for what this deck wants to do. Oh, but it does work with plunder, actually. Hmm, interesting. Well, I still have to block. You don't get to buy it from the hill. That's kind of a stinker. Still no mobile, right? It's probably just racist. <laughs> no! Well, it depends where you're from. Like, it, it might be a location thing. Maybe it's not rolled out everywhere. Oh, is this a- Oh, get the fuck away from my deck! Fuck off, dude. Fucking get the fuck away from me. Why are you playing plunder? I swear, if you got my- If you got my, uh... Maokai's, I'm gonna be cheesed off. I'm gonna be royally fucked. Shipwreck Hoarder. You fucking stole that from my deck? Are you kidding me? That's fucking troll. Toxic. Plunder's toxic, dude. <laughs> Plunder is going to be the new fucking toxic mechanic. <laughs> so young. I don't know why I glimpsed the spider. I actually should have glimpsed the uh, hoarder just to guarantee that he has no way of really dealing with it. Oh, dude, but we found the plate worm egg. What do you do against this, buddy? What do you actually do against this, you fucking idiot? <laughs> dude, screw this guy's plunder cards. That's 15 points of damage, man. Let me guess you stole another one from my deck? Yeah, salvage, salvage. Yeah, dude. I ain't gonna help your body. You guys trolling, dude. We've had enough. Plunder Maokai. Dude, don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. We got the eggs. Look at the plate worms. Look at the vicious plate worms, mate. Like, literally, that is a cool looking card. The Blessed Isles lives oh, Malkai. <laughs> Are we deep yet? Three away from deep. That actually really sucks. All right, look at this. Look at this immense pressure right now. Protect our grove. Yeah, dude, go for it. Okay, now he's deep. Sure. I think I'm good to block these. No, you'd be, you'd be smart not to swing. The problem was going to be if he's actually stolen Malkai from me. Did it tell me where this one was created from? Normally it says something here on the side. Um, I think we're open attacking, right? Not contribution. Publishing right, ah, uh, distribution right. Okay. So we can't block the fearsomes here. So this one attacks last. And this one with the most HP attacks first. Just let him die, dude. You defile the grove. Actually, I should have attacked with this one first. The 5-3. I realize this one could be blocked with the lifesteal. steal. 
Okay. And grasp. Okay, that keeps him alive. Now his Malkai is dead. It's probably a pretty fair ruination, actually. We've got two copies of ruination, so I think this should be fair. Let's toss some more cards. Now we're deep. Which would have made a huge difference prior. Toss two. Yeah, we tossed some cards. There's our Maokai. Oh, there. And he already played his Nautilus too. Oh, we gotta play Maokai here. 100% I feel. Cause he's already tossed, so we just need to buy time. Well, he's already played his Nautilus in this matchup. I feel like that's a bit of a mistake, but he also is on the back foot, so he had to kind of do something. All right. Now we're deep. Okay, easy block. We can play slightly passive over the next few turns. Oh, we don't really want to play anything here. I can go for the, I can honestly actually go for the kill here. Prior to Malkai. Or I could just play Ruination, but I'm gonna be a little bit greedy with it. I can actually drop Nautilus plus Devourer. So if I play Nautilus right now, he can possibly Ruinate. I think that's a good win for him. Or I could just push with Broad Awakening. Dude, this deck is pretty nuts. I made. I decided on MF Swain. All right, hook us up with a deck code. I'm also thinking I have multiple ways of winning here. I'm feeling like I want to be a little bit greedy. And I might just play Broad Awakening. He might like, I don't know, like Withering Whale. If he Withering Whales. I'll just play Francis Kidder and chill. I think Nautilus is just too, um, too all in. When I, when I don't need to be, I'm definitely in the advantage. 100% in the advantage. He's on a, he's on a timer. Cause he's already played Nautilus too. He cannot reshuffle cards back into his deck. Okay, now he's outside of Ruination range. I can actually play Devour now. This might be a decent amount of uh, all in. Decent amount of resources without going all in. He has to hit the, hit the challenger. <sighs> Is there really any point to attack? I think that might be. You had the right card answer there. You had all the perfect answers. All right, Cheesy, I'll have a sus at the deck in, uh, in a sec. I just go for the attack because there's a chance I might have to ruinate anyway, so it is what it is. Yeah, we're just, we're in the driver's seat. I can just chill. Hang on to that ruination for when I need it. His seed monster allies do cost uh, four less. If I had have gone and played my Nautilus this turn, it wouldn't have actually got me the win. It would have put me in an awkward spot. 
Wait, I thought he was elusive. Ah, no, not that one. I know what you're talking about. It's the eye one. There's another fish. Like, he's got two cards left. I got... Oh, he didn't manage to steal my Royal Nations or my Maokai. Okay, so... This is a little amount of... This is good because um, he has Fearsome, right? The Nautilus, so... I just don't want to allow him to attack into my face. I'll play the Skidder at first because I also buff Smarter Spider, giving me multiple and three attack units. And I'm not investing my uh, Nautilus yet. We're going to summon another Sapling so we can push for an open attack. So he has to react here. So now I'm in a weird spot where do I want to play Nautilus now? Like even if he... Because he's already played his Nautilus, even if he does get his Maokai online... It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna push for the win here. The water rises. Big boy! He's the outside of Rural Nation. Like, he could have possibly Vengeance. And so life springs anew. The only thing that gets us here is Vengeance. That works too. That's actually a bit of a problem. That's why having double Nautilus can actually help you get constant cycle. I <sighs> okay, now I have to Ruination. I actually didn't consider the double Nautilus in hand. There was a turn earlier in the game where I could have played Ruination. Everyone's a garden. This is okay. So what he he draws my Nautilus. And then I just play Ruination if he plays anything. This game's over. He needs to shuffle his cards back into his deck somehow. Okay, this is a big bait, by the way. Does he have something to shuffle cards into his deck? <laughs> he had Ruination. This was a very interesting and fun matchup, but I feel like we were the, the real victors here. I feel like he was running too many Mimi Toss cards and you've just got to focus on the pressure. Maybe we got a little bit lucky with some of our draws and the way our cards lined up.